Hello everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a Google Sheets cleaning checklist. This template is available in my digital shop if you want to go ahead and purchase. I will leave a link to this specific template so you can purchase it if you want. However, if you're looking for inspiration on how to create yours, I'll show you mine so you can create something that works for you. Alrighty, so we start here with the header, which is just the annual cleaning template. And here is the year, which you can easily change to whatever year that it applies to. All right, so the first section is the daily checklist area. And depending on what your cleaning needs are, you can populate this with at least seven items. So you can change this to whatever you need it to be. And once you are done with that task, all you have to do is click on the checkbox and it crosses it out. In addition to that, it shows you what your progress is for that day. The next section, the weekly cleaning checklist. Now, this is something that you would use for maybe things that only need to be done once a week. There might be some overlap with this. But again, this is specifically for things that only need to be done once a week. So you can check off the day that it applies to. This is the monthly cleaning task area. Now, just like the weekly cleaning task area, this is for tasks that only need to be completed once a month. So you have the task here, you have 10 tasks and you have each day of the month, January through December, and you check off the task as you complete them per month. And the graph below automatically adjusts as you complete each task. The next is the quarterly. And again, just like the monthly and the weekly, these are tasks that you only need to complete once a quarter. Here I have 10 tasks that are available and you can check it off as you go through each quarter of the year. Moving on to the semi-annual task. These are tasks that you complete twice a year. So you have January through June and July to December, the other six months of the year. You can check them off as you complete the tasks. This is the annual task area. And these are tasks that you're only completing once a year. So very infrequent. And just like the others, you click on the check boxes as you complete the task. And you have a progress bar that automatically updates as you complete each task. So here I have an additional section. You can use this section for notes. You can use it for additional tasks that maybe doesn't fit into this area. And the last section here is a progress tracking area. Here you can see the monthly progress that you've made when you check off these tasks, for example, this graph gets updated. And this is the quarterly graph, again, updated when you check off tasks in this section. And the semi-annual, of course, again, related to this section. And the last one, which is the overall progress, is tied to the monthly, quarterly, semi-annual, and annual task. So as you check off the task every month, every quarter, semi-annually, and annually, this automatically updates. It doesn't include the weekly task because the weekly task is updated every week. So that would not be included in the overall progress. All right, so that is the end of this overview of a cleaning schedule planner. If you have any questions on how I created specific things, let me know and I will create a tutorial that goes through how to do it. Thank you so much for watching. And again, if you are interested in purchasing this specific template, I will have a link to my digital template shop where you can go ahead and make your purchase. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care.